Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. So today we're going to be hanging out together. It is the weekend, baby. And we're starting off with the Walmart trip. We're going to grocery shop. Literal, so many We are actually starting to walk kind of late. It's 5.30 p.m. right now. Y acabamos de llegar a Walmart. But earlier, we actually went to Citadel to go with um, Denny's sisters. Uh, well, one of Denny's sisters and his brother. And it was so fun because Santiago got to spend some time with his cousins. And I don't know when you guys are watching this, but by the time you guys are watching this, the Barbie movie actually came out this weekend. So there's like Barbie stuff everywhere. And one of Santiago's cousins, she saw this skirt and she wanted it and i was like oh my god yes so i got her that little skirt so that when she goes and sees barbie so they're being cute we also went to go see barbie yesterday it was cute we had a lot of fun look i'll show you my outfit you could probably see it on instagram if you don't follow me you should but look that was my outfit yesterday that was my outfit yesterday. I felt really cute, really pink. Ahorita también traigo un vestido rosa because we're continuing the theme. And if you're wondering why we're hanging out on the car girl, it's because mis ojitos está dormido. He's taking a little nap. Hermoso. Baby, que, y si lo llevamos en la... If we click the, the car seat into the, into the stroller? I, I, don't, I, don't, I think I'm thinks... Oh, we didn't bring the adapters? Tell me why I'm trying to be aesthetic and this man me hace chamoy. <laughs> okay, you guys, obligatory stop at the baby section. Danny's so funny right now. I'm like, oh, let's go to the baby section. And me viene a la sección de like breastfeeding and stuff. And he's like, that's like baby, baby. We must move on to toddler. I'm like, toddler, you're crazy. Danny pretending to be this lady. <laughs> wow, hasta para la pompi. Esta? Okay, a ver. <laughs> wow, te sale muy. Muy natural, baby. Oh, you know what? We should get him a peine because we've been saying we're going to get him oh, yeah. a peine for a while. But yeah, so the super fun thing about having a baby is that now every time you come to the store, you get them something. ¿Te gusta este? Denny is the pro of Santiago's hair. ¿Verdad, papi? ¿Tu papá le gusta peinarte? Yeah, we're going to try this one. Like this one, Finer stray hair detangler. Oh, this what about no. this one, no? No. Too much? No, this is true. Okay, this is a Frida one. Freedom well, actually, you want to take him this one? I don't know how, how rough it is. It says soft and flexible bristles. Todo lo de Frida Mom nunca me ha fallado. Or Frida Baby. That Maybe. brand, if you are looking for baby stuff, that's like a really good brand. Or we could take both. Let's take both. Yeah, it's just like too bad. We'll try them out. Okay. So esto va por acá. Quería buscar los chupones, baby, because there was like three chupones that Walmart sells in one package, like for you to kind of try them out. My friend Marimar sent me the link, but I kind of wanted to see if they had them in person because if we could just get them here, then. The baby fans have honestly been like a lifesaver, especially now that it's hot. This is the one that they have here. I mean, at Costco at Walmart, but you can get them like on Amazon and stuff. We actually got ours on Amazon. I got it for Segun on my birth. I was going to get hot and I was going to be fanning myself, girl. The last thing I was thinking about was a fan. <laughs> But now it comes in super clutch when like we're out like on walks and stuff. Like today we've been using it all day, huh baby? Look, this is the one that Marimar recommended for us. So it comes with three different brands of supuestamente the best pacifiers. We got him this one and they're supposed to be breast light. And he takes it most of the time, but honestly his favorite thing is using me as a, as a pacifier, which I don't mind, but when I have to do things or when we're in the car, we're gonna take these to see if he takes um, any of the other two. You get all three of them for $10.97 to see if you like them. Supuestamente these are the best pacifier because they're the most nipple-like, as you guys can see. So like I said, this one, he's used it and he likes it, which is just okay, but we're gonna try the other two.
Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to day two of this vlog. Let me check my front door because Amy, I saw Amy, my sister, on my ring camera today. It was earlier in the day. We were, I was like just waking up. I was breastfeeding and I was like, who's on my door? Literally, she just came and went. She didn't even ring the doorbell. I don't even think she knows that I saw her. But then a little bit later, she sent me a message and she's like, I left you a package in the front door. And I was like, okay. So let's see what she left me. Duffy outside. So. We got a Tar J back. So I think I know what this is. For those of you who don't know, my sister also does merch. And so this is her new merch. And I'm so excited because honestly, this colorway is so cute. So I think I copy it. But look how cute this is. This is her new merch. It says follow your bliss. It's in a baby pink with hot pink writing. So we have like this tradition where we always gift each other each other's merch. So like when I make my merch, I just automatically make her one. And then she also makes me one. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you, Aim. Se me hace bien cute. También me dio el suéter. Pero pues ahorita está un poquito caliente, si no me lo voy a poner. But I'm gonna be wearing this in the winter. It's so girly and pink. I love it. <sighs> we're here okay we just got to the gym okay do you guys remember betty betty's the girl who does my betty cures Así como le dice ella. let me show you her her page is petties by betty but her personal page is this is betty gorgeous we love betty gorgeous girl gorgeous 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 well um betty was actually one of the first people that i told that i was pregnant when i was pregnant because i would see her every four weeks for my pedicure and i remember when i was like four weeks pregnant me tocó la cita con ella and i told her like she knew we had been trying and i was like betty like i have something to tell you and she was like you're pregnant and i was like yes and like we started crying and we hugged or whatever you know and then three months later you guys three months later i go to my appointment with her i was like what four months pregnant at the time i go to my appointment with her and she tells me she's like stacy like i know i was one of the first people you told so i'm not telling anyone yet but i have something to tell you and i was like you're pregnant and she's like yes and i was like oh my god basically we both started crying again and it was like a beautiful moment so we were pregnant together for like what if i was four months six months does that sound about right we were pregnant together for a period of time well she just posted on her story look she posted this story where like she's doing squats you know and it says um his due date is tomorrow she's having a boy by the way his due date is tomorrow but i feel no sign until then i'll be squatting my life away yes i've eaten the dates i've drank the raspberry leaf tea yes i've done sexy time yes i've been walking i joined every errand to stay moving but baby is boss until he is ready to go everything was fun until these last two weeks the swollen life is not it at all girl and i just remember how horrible horrible like those last few weeks of pregnancy you guys pregnancy is beautiful i love being able to give my or i love the fact that i literally created my son in my stomach like that is such a wild concept like wow i literally had my baby in my stomach but you guys the last weeks you're like f this s-h-i-t i am somebody get this kid out now like you guys remember when i was like <laughs> the last few weeks of pregnancy oh my god les voy a enseñar algo que nunca les he enseñado antes oh my god you guys like look my feet were so swollen and not only that but like look i was so swollen i was miserable you guys i was miserable the last few weeks of pregnancy look there's me crying like i just was so miserable this is a little bit before he was born so look here's another picture of me crying because i just was so over it like i know exactly how she's feeling so what i wanted to do is i'm gonna door dash her something like i don't know like a little treat you know to make her feel better like there, honestly there's nothing that's gonna make you feel better if you're in the last couple of weeks of pregnancy unless the kid comes out but you know maybe we can cheer up her day a little bit and be like hang in there betty you're doing great we're gonna get her some krispy kreme donuts i would have opted for crumble cookie but there was no um crumble cookie around her a little something for you that's the one we'll put and then we're gonna put for the message betty hang in there mama you're doing amazing and baby will be here faster than you think hang in there mama you're doing amazing and baby will be here faster than you think even though it doesn't feel like it even though it doesn't feel like oh no puedo poner todo eso love you okay we got some Krispy Kreme going to Betty because being a pregnant woman is very, very hard so hopefully she receives it and she feels super duper 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 excited 
with that being said let's go walk for an hour girl because my me time is limited but we're grateful for whatever we get also i'm only gonna walk for a little bit because i do want to go get my nails done remember i told you guys that this nail broke so anyway it's not feeling like myself with these nails i don't feel cute so i want to go get my nails done let me get everything together we got everything let's go get a nice little walk-in girl venimos sin ganas pero if i don't get out of the house at least once a day it is not good for me or anyone Oh my god, you guys, look. <gasps> I ended up getting long nails, which I haven't gotten long nails in a while. When's the last time I got long nails? I think for sure before SJ was born. Now, these are the longest nails I've had since he was born. So, operation, if they get in my way, I'm just gonna foul them down. But honestly, you guys, these last nails that I had, the teal ones, they were not a vibe for me. Like, I was not feeling them at all whatsoever. So, I had her remove the old ones, and then we did these. <gasps> oh my god. I kind of feel like Stacy D 2020, 2021, you know, when I would go get my nails done. I will tell you for old time's sake, I ended up paying 85 no 95 95 for a removal um for a soak off and then for a new set with color acrylic oh my gosh i love now they're a little bit bumpy of course you can compare like nail salon nails with like nail tech like professional instagram nail tech nails but it's okay no pasa nada ahorita ya vamos con a la casita because girl, i've been out too long i have been out way too long i miss my child um my boobs are kind of full so we gotta go home girl we gotta go home Today's Sunday, so Denny typically goes to play volleyball on Sundays. That's like his him day, you know, his him time. Because both parents need, both parents need their own time. One thing about being a mom is you're gonna learn real quick that you better wear that baby or you're not gonna get anything done. Wear that puppy. So we just got home. I'm actually gonna make myself something to eat really quick. Este bebé ya tiene sueño. So I think when, when I baby wear him, he typically gets like a little bit sleepy. Aunque ahorita no le va mucha cara de sueño. But if this fails, then we're gonna go on a walk to have a nice little Sunday walk. Pero primero hay que comer. Yesterday that we went to Walmart, I ended up getting I ended up getting these pork chops. So we're gonna have pork chops with rice and vegetable. Keeping it simple, girls. We're not breaking our heads. It's a hit or miss with the baby carrier now. Like sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't. So the good thing is that I kind of got him used to it since he was a little tiny baby. So I'm just gonna make these pork chops and then my secret weapon is these instant rices. You, these are from Costco. You literally stick them in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then once they're done, you literally just have like instant rice. It's probably not the healthiest for you. Like it would probably be easier to just, or I mean more healthy to make the actual rice. But girl, ahorita. El tiempo es limitado, ¿verdad, papi? I successfully laid him down for a nap. So he fell asleep. Let me take off my baby carrier. When in doubt, carry your baby. And now we're gonna eat. So I have the pork chops, the rice, and the avocado. I know. No soy super delicioso, pero ahorita. Ahorita no más con que. As long as it feeds me, girl, I will take it. So we'll see how long he naps for. Typically he likes contact naps, but hopefully. You guys, ando bien perdida. No sé dónde ando. What the heck? Like, look, it's genuinely like, what? What's going on? 
what's going on um you know when you miss like an exit and you go like a completely different route and it takes you through like loopholes and stuff you guys are not gonna believe where we're going um surprise i'm not gonna tell you where we're going until we get there but i was craving this so bad for the last couple of days i have been craving it so 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 bad that today i was like you know what i'm driving to the closest one to me it is what it is um i'm gonna take the time i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna get myself a little something and then we're gonna go back home because honestly it felt like a pregnancy craving obviously i'm not pregnant please please do not get excited for me <laughs> i'm not pregnant but yeah like i was craving this so bad so i was like you know what i'm gonna go today so we're nine minutes away and ando no sé dónde ando literal ando bien norteada ando bien perdida look google map says that we're gonna get there in nine minutes so uh, let's go Yes, you guys, I literally drove almost an hour to Eastvale. I think that's the name of the place here. Let me just triple check. Where are we? This is Eastvale, California, which you guys, let me tell you, this is the closest Dutch Bros to LA. This is definitely not LA, LA County anymore, but this is the closest Dutch Bros to LA. I generally don't know why there's no Dutch Bros in LA. It's like either this one in Eastvale or the other one that's closest to us is, como se llama, Oceanside. Every time we go to TJ on the way back, we stop by Dutch Bros because it's literally so good. Um, So the other day I asked you guys on Instagram porque se me había antojado and I asked you guys, I was like, how come there's no Dutch Bros in LA. Apparently, this is what you guys said. I don't know how true this is if anybody can confirm. Apparently, you have to be like a worker of Dutch Bros to open up a franchise somewhere, I think. And I guess no one has wanted to open one up in LA. But apparently, there's going to be one in Orange County. I forgot the name of where exactly, if anybody can remind me. But honestly, it is worth it to drive all the way out here. I haven't had the coffee yet, so I'll let you know once I have it. But I asked Denny if he wanted some and he said yes. So I'm getting a, como se llama? A golden eagle with a soft top, which I think is the most common one. Like this is hella packed. This is so packed, you guys, it's packed. But anyway, um, that's what I'm getting. And then Denny's getting a caramelizer blended. I don't know, I don't come to Dutch Bros often enough to know like our orders by heart. Oh my God, you guys, update on the Betty situation. Remember I sent her glaze, I mean, Krispy Kreme donuts to her house. Sad story, okay? So, um, so when you send a gift through DoorDash, you pick a gift card, right? Like where you can write out a message like you guys saw me doing, and then you put their phone number in the app so they can send the person that you're sending the gift to the card right like they'll get a, a message like oh stacy sent you this and like whatever so i did that like i put betty's number there and i was like okay they're gonna give like they're gonna send it to her and then when she gets the donuts she's gonna know they're from me and i was like okay great well a day went by and i was like that's kind of weird you know like not saying i was expecting her to be like oh my god this is the best thing that's ever happened to me but typically she's like super polite so i was like she would have said something right now you know i was like maybe she didn't get them like i just needed to make sure she got them so i messaged her and um they also give you a link so you can send the gift card to the person so se lo mandé and i was like hey betty like i was like i'm not sure if you got my gift yesterday but i just wanted to like confirm because doordash said it got sent but you know like i i just want to make sure you got it and she read it and she was like oh my god like no i didn't get it uh what time did you send it like i'm so sorry and i was like no no no. i was like you didn't do anything wrong i was like i'm glad i asked but <laughs> i was like you didn't get it and she's like no um typically like doordash or uber eats like because she has like a gate like a wooden gate in her in front of her house typically they have to like open it and they come all the way up because she has like little stairs to her door she's like they come all the way up and then they leave even like on the little like table I have and I was like that's weird and she's like I'm gonna have Albert her boyfriend she's like I'm gonna have Albert check the cameras and I was like yeah like have Albert check the cameras because like DoorDash said it got delivered and if not like I want to tell them like hey it didn't get delivered you know so basically they checked the cameras and the person that delivered it got there and then they literally left the donuts on the floor like on the sidewalk <laughs> like not at her front door not like they didn't even like toss them to be put in her stairs like no they literally left them on the sidewalk so i guess when that happened her mother-in-law her mother-in-law actually lives like right across the street from her which is so cool saw that and then the mother-in-law went to go pick them up because she was like okay like whose donuts are these and when they saw the name that it had on there because it doesn't come with like the printed like card that i sent her it just says my name and fun fact i use a fake name on doordash for like safety reasons 
<laughs> so when they saw the name they didn't recognize so basically her mother-in-law told her son which is betty's boyfriend like hey you got some donuts dropped off in front of your house they're here albert went to go pick them up albert didn't recognize the name and so he never told betty and he just left them outside <laughs> so i guess she did end up getting them but then her boyfriend didn't tell her and then the fact that they didn't recognize the name so basically the girl who dropped them off didn't do anything wrong but yeah you guys hold on i'm gonna take my order real quick Hi. It's going well, and you? Pretty good, thank you. What can I get for you? Um, can I please have Golden Eagle Golden with Eagle? the soft top? For sure. Is that hot ice or blended? Hot ice or blended. Hot ice or blended. Blended. What size do you want that? Wait, just kidding. Let me have it ice. Ice, for sure. Yes. And then um, the regular, is that like the medium? A uh, medium, yeah. This can be 24 ounces. Okay, yeah. Let me do that one. Not you anything else? Yes. And then I'm going to have a caramelizer, like the really big one. Yeah. Blended. Blended, for sure. Any whipped cream or soft top on that one? No. Just gotcha. like that. Anything else? No. Awesome. And then this part's totally optional for you. It's just going to ask for a signature right afterwards. You're all set. Have a Thank good day. you. Okay, so yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> So basically, I guess he left the donuts in the, like the backyard, like he didn't even bring them inside the house. And for some reason, he didn't tell her, which is fine, like it's no one's fault, right? But she ended up finding out about the donuts when I texted her. She was like, thank you so much. Like the thought is what counts. And I was like, Betty, like I wanted you to feel so loved. And she's like, I do. So shout out to Betty. Her baby has not been born yet, but no me salió, you guys. I really like to surprise people and make people feel special, but pues no me salió esta vez porque dejaron las donas en la banqueta y luego I used a fake name on DoorDash, so it didn't work out, but it's okay. When her baby's born and we get to see her, then we'll take her something special. Hi. Hi, I have a medium ice pony with soft top and a large caramelizer. Yes. Let me get closer. Thank you. Thank you. And the golden eagle. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Mira, eso me pasa por bocona porque no me sacaron plática ahora, eh? Okay, where's the exit? Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited for our winners. First of all, I got a pink straw, which means this is already better than I anticipated it. I just got the regular size because no me quise comprar el rotoplas. Look at the size difference. This is Denny's. And I got the soft top, so we might as well have some. Oh, so good. It's literally making me tingly. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, so good. I have a car behind me. Hashtag worth it. Even though I haven't, ooh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Even though I have an hour long drive home now. <laughs> Nos vamos a ir a la casa, sipping on our coffee. Honestly, hopefully I don't have to pee at some point from now until we get home because I'm gonna have to stop by the Starbucks or something. Also, let's just start driving home, girl. This is my pink straw. So cute. Look how cute it is. Obsessed. Obsessed. You know it's gonna be a good day today. Eso me pasa por andar de metiche. Okay, good. You know when you miss your street and you're like, oh no. This is actually pretty good. It's not the best coffee I've ever had, but it is really good. Was it worth it driving like two hours there and back? I probably could have waited. We're gonna be going to Arizona soon and there's like a Dutch Bros in every corner over there. So I probably could have waited, but it is what it is. We're here. Love this for me, so. Vámonos a la casita, you guys. Hi guys. So we're home and as you guys can tell, we are in SJ's room and there's a lot going on. So amidst everything and in the middle of everything, as a new mom, literally uh, one of the things that has been super challenging for me is being able to find time. This sounds like an ad, but it's not. I actually recently found this mom on Instagram. I don't remember her name specifically, but it's something along the lines of like the unclutter mom. Um, and basically her whole logic is the more things you have, the more things that own you. And I really do believe that. Like quieras or no, cualquier cosa que tengas en tu casa, it's gonna take your time, it's gonna take your effort, it's gonna take your mental space because you're either trying to find it or trying to organize it or trying to put it away or trying to make it not look messy and stuff. So the more things you own, the more things that own you. Now with the new baby, I can admit to myself and to you guys, like I'm the type of person that is literally like, I'd rather have something and not need it than need, than need something and not have it. And that for sure has came into place for like a, a lot of things, like the lactation massager when I got a clogged duct, the, the colic, the gripe water when baby had colic, like it's good for me to be prepared. But now that we're like along this like, 
parenthood journey a little bit i'm like okay now i know what things we do need what things we don't need or we can start seeing what are some things we can start donating putting to the side and stuff so i actually talked to my mom and i told her about it and she told me that she has a co-worker that's pregnant so we're gonna be getting some stuff over to her so that she can use it and if she doesn't use it then you know she can donate it to someone else yeah i am really gonna try like in my life i'm really trying to like find peace in my heart you guys i have a lot of peace with my family i have a lot of peace within myself i have a lot of peace with stuff but the thing that does kind of weigh heavy on me is like when i don't like when i see a mess like for example knowing that this room looks like this even though i don't come into this room often enough it's like sitting in the back of my mind like i'm like that room is dirty that room is dirty that room is dirty that room is dirty like i don't know why i'm like that but it bothers me even if i'm not seeing it so we're gonna try to organize a little bit Okay, we're gonna try to organize a little bit. Now, I don't even know where to begin because it's a lot, but these diapers we do need. <laughs> yeah, this room, obviously because he stays with us, we kind of just walk in here and we just like put things here. Like there's not even like any organization to it. So look, let me show you. This is his bassinet. We're not donating this because we're gonna use it with baby number two someday. This is his play mat that you guys saw in the last vlog. It's so cute. I love it. Um, this is a lot. That is a lot. Uh, these are these are the clothes that no longer fit him, but if he has a brother, his brother is gonna use. This is his next car seat for when he grows out of the other one. His changing table. Um, this we are gonna keep, even though um, this is like a shower thingy. These maletas are my maletas. I don't know why they're in here, but I'm actually donating this one because I wanna get a new one. So we're gonna start moving, grooving, organizing. Um, honestly, it feels a little bit overwhelming just to like be here, to be honest, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Woo. Okay, girl, get it together. Three, two, one, go. I need to have a donation pile, a trash pile, even though there's not gonna be a lot of trash in here, and a keep pile. And then we're just gonna start moving and grooving. Man, donation. We did use this one when he was first born, but now we actually just shower him in like the regular shower. So this was very helpful while it lasted, but now he's like old enough and like sturdy enough, you know? I feel like when they're first, first born, they're so tiny and squirmy that you're like, oh my God, cancelado, cancelado, cancelado. Now he's like big enough to where like, se siente más macizo, you know? actually fits him now so i need to wash these and get them to him because now he's literally gonna grow out of these in like two weeks two weeks is all you get with baby clothes and two weeks is like no le queda no le queda no le queda le queda por un segundo y ya no le queda otra vez this we can use right now You guys tell me why we already have a stroller and we ended up getting this jogging stroller and we didn't even realize that he can't be in it until he's six months old at least because that's when we start to hold our neck. Do either Denny or I jog? No, but we have a jogging stroller. Es que mujer preparada vale por dos, pero mujer preparada también limpia por dos.
Google AI. You guys, who remembers when we went to go see him in 3D? His heart rate. Wait. Hey, how's it going? It's kind of crazy to look back on because when you first put it on then, primero le quedaba grande. Like this was big on him when he first came on and then eventually it fit him just right. And then this would not fit him anymore. And then this other one, he was so tiny. Oh, oh my God, why? This is so cute. <laughs> it's sad because you wish it could stay like this. But obviously I'm happy that he's growing and he's healthy and I want him to keep growing. But look how tiny it was. Oh my god, you guys, it literally happened like in the blink of an eye. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is one that oh this is her three months y tampoco ya no le queda. Hermoso. These clothes just kind of remind me of like how hectic the newborn days were. Now that, not that like, like I feel like when I like when I was a newborn mom. I'm, I don't. When are you? What do you stop being a newborn mom? I've heard some people say it's 28 days, and then I've heard, not the blowout girl. I need to watch this. And then I've heard some people say that it's um, three months. So by both definitions, I'm no longer considered a newborn mom. It definitely went by way too fast, like way faster than I was like ready for. But I will tell you like as sweet and as beautiful as a newborn face is, not being a newborn mom also has its benefits because I feel like when you're like a first time newborn mom, you're kind of thrown into like, you're kind of thrown into like, just like the most intense adventure of your life and you're like thrown in it and you're just like, oh my God, what is going on? Like the newborn days felt like a blur because everything was happening so fast and there was so much to learn. And obviously I was trying to heal and I was trying to make sure like my milk supply came in and that he was okay. So there's a sense of sweetness that comes with not having a newborn anymore because you just feel a little bit more secure in yourself like a little bit more like okay like we got this you know like we're gonna be able to do this you know like in a couple of newborn days you're like oh my god am i ever gonna be okay like this is way too much but then you kind of start like catching your pace if you will you know you do things a little bit easier and you know you just kind of like i can now i'm at a point where like if i hear him cry i know exactly why he's crying like he has different cries for different reasons I could even tell by his face certain different things. Like obviously when he was a newborn, I had no idea, you know? So it's bittersweet to see the newborn days go, but it's it's awesome to see him at this stage and like how interactive he is. He como nos platica y se enríe. So yeah, it's sad to see the newborn outfits because you're like, oh, he was so tiny. But you're also like, I'm so happy that my baby's growing and I'm so grateful to God because that's an amazing feeling to see my big boy. Hey guys he's like where are you talking to mom mom um we basically finish honestly when you have a baby you just have to lower expectations like what would be done in a day is now done in a couple of days but honestly i'm pretty proud of myself because i was able to declutter a lot and um i put two loads of laundry in so let me show you guys a little bit of the after we actually are gonna have some people that are gonna come look at the stuff that we didn't use so that they can come and they can use it for themselves we're still gonna go to the baby shower of our friends who are gonna pick up this stuff but if they can benefit from the things that we're not gonna use then it's better for them and we're still gonna give them a gift don't think that, that that's gonna be it so check it out there is some of his clothes the bassinet i don't know where i'm gonna put this bassinet once we have his school night in here but we'll figure that out i still have to sort this out so pretend like that's not there <laughs> but there's that here and we still have to also sort this out but that's okay for now i'm gonna go hang out with my baby now hello baby but yes that's basically gonna be it you guys for this vlog we're gonna go hang out with each other <laughs>
papi chulo. Hermoso mi bebé, hermoso mi bebé. Les quiero mucho, que Dios me les bendiga. Quédate mucho, respeta más. Nos vemos en el siguiente video. Bye.